surprise to see you here. Come on in. <laughs> Essentially, we've been living here for two years um, and I've been meaning to do an apartment tour for both of those years. Have I done an apartment tour? No! Are we about to move out in three days time and then it suddenly dawned on me that I never did an apartment tour? Absolutely! So, so we're doing an apartment tour today. This was the second apartment that me and Jean have lived in together. Um, it's in Bath. We currently pay £1,035 for rent. It is a two bedroom, but the second bedroom is small. I, I think you call it a masonette because it does technically go up a level. This is our foyer slash entranceway. I don't know if it's big enough to be called a foyer, to be honest with you. It's just an entrance hall. Uh, this is where we put coats, shoes, all the shebang. We also have a little level here, which the cats like to lie on as Gaia is demonstrating so beautifully. Gorgeous model. This is mainly where we keep the big cat litter because it's a bit away from the house which means that you don't really smell it. Uh, unfortunately it does mean that the first thing you smell when you walk into my home is cat shit. Um, and moving on. Come on, this way. This is where the cats like to snoop. <laughs> Our cats love this little area because it means that they get to watch people as they walk in and then they judge you silently. We are now in the main hallway, not the entrance hall, the main hallway. Over here is the kitchen, we'll do this first I think, but this is the little cat area. They have a little cat tree. We had to put some weights at the bottom of it because the cats... It's very tall and not particularly stable and the cats like to throw themselves at it. So. Why do you demonstrate everything? She's just demonstrating everything I'm saying. It's, it's kind of perfect. Around this way, we have our little bureau here. It's got just, it's messy. So I'm not really gonna show you inside there. This is basically our glorified dumping area. Uh, we've got this off Facebook Marketplace. This is our kitchen slash office. It is a bit messy because we do live in here. We do a lot of cooking in here. I also work in here, so I have my Mac on the table. And the main reason for that is just because I like being able to look at the window when I'm editing. Gaia is just following us this whole tour. She really wants to be involved. I don't blame her. She's a little star. You're a star! So yeah, we do a lot of cooking in here. This is probably one of the spaces we spend the most time in. Um, mainly because we are big food people. We like to eat, um, like most people. <laughs> this is my little editing area. Um, I do most of my editing here. I, I have this in here instead of in the office because it has a window, which when you're doing like editing for 18 hours straight, it's great. It's really great um, because otherwise you lose track of space and time. But it also means it's a bit more sociable. So if Sean's cooking or eating or whatever, I don't feel quite so isolated. This is the cactus. He does not have a name. Feel free to name the cactus. Hey Elba, what's that painting? That's a painting that I did. Um, it's not particularly good, but art is expensive. Um, so I'd rather DIY it. Come on. Why do you like that painting so much? Because it's nice and it means a lot of different things to me. Give me one <laughs> of the things that it means. Seawater. You are going to see boxes throughout this whole thing, um, but there's not really much I can do about it. We're moving in three days, so I, I apologise. This is the bathroom. Um, this is where we bathe and occasionally shower. Not today though, which is why I look the way I do. I love this bathroom. The only issue with it is that it's not very well ventilated, so things get very stinky very fast. Uh, we've got a nice view of the street, because that's what, to be honest, what everyone wants is a shower with a view of the street. Our cats particularly love this bath. I'm not 100% sure why, but they just kind of hang out here. So moving on, opposite the bathroom, we have the living room. Come on over here. So, oh, my pillows are messed up. Hold on, hold on. Pillows are in order, it's fine. So this is the living room. 
This is quite a big space. We are very lucky to have quite a big living room. Um, I feel very grateful for this room. We do have a really lovely outdoor place. So we have a little balcony, which during COVID was like a godsend because a lot of apartments, especially when you're younger, don't come with an outdoor space. So we have a little balcony, which right now is occupied by the cat's playpen and a rug that we are beating the dust out of. We don't spend masses of time in here just because in the winter it gets very cold and in the summer it gets really hot uh, because this door is not it's not it's just like a single pane of glass so it doesn't do well either way we have some books over here uh, general storage we also have a big door here which actually is quite a little door because it's more or less the same height as me which has caused quite a few questions um about my height in my videos because it looks like a regular door except i am very tall compared to it so people it throws people off am i six nine you know Maybe. Where does it lead to? The door doesn't actually lead to anywhere. It's just a storage door. It's one of the weird things that old houses sometimes have. So it's quite literally just a cupboard. Um, there's nothing particular. Remember when I used to beat you at Scrabble all the time? Please don't bring that up. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Wallpaper, which has been the bane of my life since we moved in. I know some people like it. I just don't. I hate wallpaper. I'm sorry. It's ugly. Um, the mirror also is the landlord's, it's not ours. Um, our fireplace doesn't work either. That's probably good for fire safety reasons. The little chair that turns into a bed. Um, and then we have this sofa, which was very kindly gifted to us by Swift. This whole sofa just comes apart. It's excellent. You can literally flat pack the sofa and it's so comfortable. We could not find a sofa for love nor money that we could get into our apartment, mainly because we are actually on the fourth floor of an old building. So as you could see in the hallway, everything is very narrow. We literally, one, could not carry a sofa up four floors because they are winding staircases. It would be like that episode in Friends where Ross is just going, pivot <laughs> and two our doorways are really narrow and so is our hallway so being able to get a flat pack sofa was just an absolute godsend and you quite literally just slot it together like a jigsaw puzzle it's amazing it's very comfortable so if you live in an apartment i cannot recommend you get one of these enough i'll leave a link in the description down below this is our chessboard come down with me oh this is where jean routinely beats my ass at chess as opposed to beating my ass at Bingo. I mean, it's a chessboard. I don't know what else you're gonna be beating me at. I actually bought this for a video. Um, I was going to do a video where I tried to become good at chess, which was very quickly shut down um, by the fact that I, I think I'm unteachable. I <laughs> this game is really hard. Um, so that video does not exist and it will probably never exist, but we got a beautiful chessboard out of it. Um, it, <laughs> I just don't understand the game. It just, it doesn't make any sense. And I, I never learned as a child. And so I blame my mother for this. Okay, that's why. Moving on. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the bar cart. It's full of miscellaneous stuff right now because we are moving like sellotape, which I don't recommend drinking. It's alcohol. We have a lot of it. Um, we're quite proud of our bar cart, I think. I don't even really drink that much, like at all. I think I drink beer and that's about it. The only thing is we do, we can make good cocktails, but we can't make anything that involves shaking because we don't have the, the kit. We have the ingredients, but not the kit. So if anyone knows where to get good bar cart stuff, like, you know, the shaking thing that you see in like James Bond and stuff, let me know, because uh, I have no clue. So. <laughs> This is the bar cut. We have lots of different types of alcohol in here. My favorite one, which I refuse to open, is this Sakura um, liqueur, which is kind of like sake, I think, but it actually has cherry blossom flowers in, which I can't bring myself to drink it. Honestly, it's so pretty. But anyway, come on, next room. Um, this is our bedroom. It is quite small, and I know a lot of people find that weird. So we actually picked the smallest room of the two rooms to be our bedroom, which I know is a bit weird for some people, but I don't like having a big bedroom. That room is set up as if it was to be a master bedroom. For me, I'd rather just have my bedroom be a bed and some bedside tables um, and, and a plant. That, that for me is my ideal situation because I just, 
I find that it feels busy and stressful. And also I saw a Doctor Who episode where the shadows moved and now I'm scared of things in the dark. I'm trying to get new bed sheets because I recently saw a lot of slander online about people who have grey bed sheets. Apparently it means we're boring and I took it personally and now I feel like I'm reevaluating my entire life because of a tweet I saw about bed sheets. This is the view from our bedroom. Uh, it's again the same view as the bathroom, it is just a road, uh, which I quite like. Again, until you remember, they can see you too. So I don't like this two way street of vision. I wish it was like blacked out or something, like one of those cars that's illegal, you know? We have some art on the walls over here, one of which is by Rob Breve, who is a family friend, another one by Seiki. Se I can't, I've literally, no I don't know how to say Sam's name. I'm sorry, Sam. It's like Se Sagin? Sagin. It's S-K-G-N. If you want to support an independent artist, please do. Um, both Rob and Sam are independent artists, so do with that what you will. Our cats actually sleep in here with us every night. Um, that's why there's a little beds here. Atlas has a box that he likes, although most of the time he just sleeps on my chest like a big baby. Funny story about these uh, little lights. Um, this one doesn't actually work at all. It did actually have a glass rim initially that went over the top of it. Atlas knocked it over and it smashed everywhere and we thought we'll still keep the light because it works. No longer works but it's here because there's one on the other side and I don't like it to be asymmetrical and then I didn't like that this one didn't have glass and this one did um, and then I accidentally smashed the glass on that one but I think subconsciously that I did it on purpose because I didn't like that it was uneven. There is a bit of a weird shaped wall in here which made it pretty impractical as anything other than a bedroom in my opinion. Um, the bed frame Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, loads of our stuff in our house came from Facebook Marketplace. If you are a student or renovating on a budget, get on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever because you can pick up some bargains. Like, I didn't realise tables were so expensive, chairs, bed frame. Why is everything expensive? This is the final room of the house, it is the office, but currently we've dumped everything else from the rest of the house in this room so that all the other rooms look tidy. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna have to just clean out this room um, and then I'll just pretend that that never happened. We'll just disperse it throughout the rest of the rooms. So I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Come on into the office. You guys have actually seen this space a lot because I film all of my fashion videos here. So I film it against these wardrobes like a seductress. It's probably the least sexy thing anyone's ever seen me going like this <laughs> against a wardrobe. Uh, so this is where me and Jean work. Um, you can hear sirens. We live right by a fire station and an ambulance station, uh, which is very useful in case of emergency, uh, but we've never had one of those. This is my YDYB sign. If you don't know, YDYB is my sustainable and ethical clothing brand. We make very cool stuff as ethically and sustainably as we can. Uh, and we also do drops for charity, complete for charity, 100% of profits go to the given cause. We just did one for Ukraine. Uh, we're about to drop one for various pro-choice charities and abortion funds across the globe. So there's a link down below in the description. It's always there if you fancy supporting a small, sustainable and ethical clothing brand. It's just me and my mum. So. <laughs> so this was my first big adult purchase. I bought a desk, uh, a fancy desk, um, and then I never ended up using it because <laughs> I needed more space. So Jean ended up using this desk and I used this one. So this is my streaming setup. This is where all of my streams are filmed. I've got my lights filmed, streamed, captured. I, I'm not really sure about the terminology. Um, if you want to check out twitch.tv slash elbat. We stream most days. At the moment it's a little bit hectic because I'm moving, um, but I'm around most of the time. We stream almost every single weekday. Uh, have a good time. Come along and watch. I swear, it's fun. But yeah, I think this is the room that we probably spend the most time in. We play a lot of video games and I do a lot of streaming. Jean does work over here, so it's kind of like... I, I like having the same office because it means we spend time together even when we're not. Um, do you like that about... It's got its pros and cons. It's... What does that mean? Well, the cons is that I have to hear you screaming at a screen for eight hours a day. Long live the stream! <laughs> but the pros is that whenever I want to between games, I can roll over with my chair and go. Why? He he does pinch me a lot. I don't know what it is. He's, he's like a little crab. He's a little... 
pincher. We got some big uh, Secret Labs Titan chairs. They weigh an absolute ton, um, which is why I think they're called Titan chairs, because they weigh as much as one. Or you need to be a Titan to lift one, one or the other. Um, because I had to assemble these on my own because Jean was gone and it took two full-grown delivery men I had to beg them to carry it up the stairs because I couldn't do it because they literally I, I opened the door and they were like Oh no, and I was like, please. I assembled them on my own and that was difficult But shout out the delivery men because they did most of the heavy lifting. I've got a little pride flag here I want you all to know I'm you know um, this is pretty much the end of the tour. This is our apartment and we've lived here for two years. Uh, a lot of the furniture is a bit hodgepodge. Um, most of the stuff we were given or we got on Facebook Marketplace or second hand um, or was faulty but we took it anyway. Um, so uh, it doesn't, there's not a lot of style cohesion throughout the building um, but I think when you're young it's not so important to buy nice furniture um, because your style changes and your taste changes as well so it may be a better idea just to kind of collect things as you go that you like um, and upcycle where possible. But I really like our apartment. I, I, I'm really happy here. I am actually sad to leave this apartment. It is a beautiful apartment um, and we've had a really good time here in the past two years. I mean this was a a pandemic move. We actually didn't see this apartment before we moved into it. My parents came and viewed it for us because we couldn't come to see it because we were locked down in Liverpool. Um, so my parents were like, we'll take some videos. Um, and it turned out really well. I mean, we love it here. I mean, I think this apartment actually is for sale. I think it might have already sold, which is convenient because we're moving out. I think I'll be really sad to see this apartment go, to be honest. How will you feel about it? Sad. Oh, really? That sounded really sincere. You sound like you're really gonna miss the apartment. Things I'm gonna miss it, but I'm also excited about the even cooler apartment that we're moving into. The apartment that we've got in Nottingham is incredible, and I am so excited to move in. Um, and we'll probably do another apartment tour if this does well. If you like these kind of videos, um, we're happy to do. We can do another one. Are you happy to do another one, Jean? No. <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> Jean has been the cameraman for the tour thing and I think he's had enough. Please do let me know if you like her apartment, if you like this kind of video. I'm very grateful for you guys because your support in watching, liking, commenting on my videos and all that good stuff, watching my streams, that whole thing is what allows me to live in these beautiful places. So thank you very much everyone for letting this be my job because I'm, I'm, I feel very fortunate every time I look around and I see the place I'm living in. Um, it's an incredible honour. So thank you very much for supporting me and letting this be my job. Look after yourself, don't forget to hydrate and as always, give my kisses to your mother. <laughs> Bye!